Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. We're back. It's Ricka and Nathan. Here we are again. Here we are. Nathan, we've gotten a lot of responses on our video about that people want to know how to do this uh, streaming video thing so we can play local multiplayer games online. Yeah. We're going to show you. So basically, if I can explain it really quick, the concept of what we're doing, we are going to, we are using the NVIDIA game stream technology uh, that is usually used with the NVIDIA Shield peripheral. We're actually tricking that software to think that the client computer that is usually supposed to be an NVIDIA Shield is another person's computer over the internet. Since we're using NVIDIA, uh, the host, whoever's going to host the game, has to have an NVIDIA graphics card, unfortunately. But like the person who is streaming the game to their device, their computer or whatever, doesn't need necessarily need a NVIDIA graphics card. Yeah, I mean, I think theoretically the person you were streaming too, like they could even have like a Mac, right? Like it doesn't even matter. Actually, it's funny. You can have it on an Android device, an iOS device, <laughs> a Mac, a PC, like it's really flexible. So everyone, you can play Gungeon on your iPhone, but no, I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know if that would necessarily work, but. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I mean, this cool thing is you could also do it over a local network. So if you really felt like streaming stuff to your TV and stuff, you can use Moonlight to do that. Uh, without actually needing a, a uh, in, NVIDIA shield thing. So, uh, Okay, so I'm going to show you my, my desktop here. I'm loading up the GeForce experience that comes with every, when you install your graphics card, you download this thing. And I'm logged in. I'm going to be the host in this demonstration, and Nathan's going to be the client or streamer of the game. So basically, you go to preferences here, and you go down to shield, because this is what we're going to do. We're going to make it think it's a shield. And now it's Nathan's turn. Actually, I'm going to show you guys where to download Moonlight, because this is the best part of it. If you search on Google Moonlight NVIDIA, it should be your first uh, result here, Moonlight Game Streaming. Here's the website. Uh, these guys are freaking awesome. Special thanks to them because all these different devices down here can all run this Moonlight client. But uh, so for us, we would go to Moonlight PC, hit download, and then it'll give you a couple, a few different versions here. So literally right here, here's uh, your OS X for Mac. You have Linux if you have Linux and then uh, Windows 32-bit and 64-bit. So depending on your operating system, I run a 64-bit operating, operating system. Windows 10 is a 64-bit operating system. I would download Win64 right here. You just click that and usually, you know, you do the whole download thing like you always do on the internet. <laughs> so uh, then when you fire it up, I'm gonna switch over to Nathan's computer now to show you what he's looking at. Yeah, so you, I mean, it's actually incredibly simple. You just open Moonlight and um... Right here, you're going to want to type in your uh, the IP address of who you're connecting to. So I've already done that. And um, then you basically you just hit this button down here that says pair. And let's just see what happens here. If it works. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here's the stressful part where you're like, oh, my God, is it working? Is it working? <laughs> All right. Uh, there it is. Yeah. OK, so now it pops up on my screen. and It's going to say, uh, please enter the following pin on the target PC. So that's like uh, Rick is PC. He's going to enter. 9147. Okay, 9147. Cool. And if you're having trouble with this, I know it took us a little bit to realize that it won't necessarily connect right away unless you have the correct ports open. So I'm going to put the ports that you need open on the screen now. And you need to actually open all these ports, uh, TCP and UDP. I just put them both in. But uh, this shows you like what you need open. Unfortunately, we can't really give you a crazy detailed uh, explanation of this because everybody's router is different. And you should be able to have access to your router for this to work, unfortunately. If you're on like a, a college network or a school network or something like that, you might not have access to your gateways and stuff like that. So the host should be somebody who can have access to your router and be able to open these ports. But here you go. So yeah, 9147, uh, once you have all your ports open, that popped up on my screen as soon as Nathan hit pair. So that's how you know it's working. Shield is requesting co to connect. I already feel tricky because it's like, we don't even have a shield and it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a shield, you know, like it's cool. So anyway, I'm just gonna really easy, just click connect. And then on Nathan's screen, right, it gives you all the options. Ooh, error. Streaming session has failed due to game management error. That error, I guess that we never encountered that error because we did it the right way last time. So yeah. <laughs> so if you encounter that error, it's because you haven't added any games. And here's how to add games. You hit this little plus button over here and you go and find in your Steam files, uh, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, enter the Gungeon and double click the exe here, etg.exe. Now that pops up. 
that's uh, that's telling you that okay that game is linked and ready for streaming I'm also gonna add nuclear throne common nuclear throne nuclear throne.exe and uh, that's the cool part is this this works for multiple games like any game that is local co-op should now be able to be streamed over the web and you can play online yeah and like the and the person who like the, again the person who's running moonlight like you don't need you don't even need a Steam account. Like you don't need anything. You don't <laughs> yeah, that's need true. to own any of the games. Like you just need to download Moonlight and have a friend who owns the games. And you're right. not even you're not running it on your computer. So theoretically, this could work with like higher like um, you know really, games that are really hard to run in, and you're just streaming it. So I recommend supporting these awesome game developers and stuff. So you know if you really love the games, of course you're not going to be able to stream from your buddy's computer all the time, so you're going to have to buy them for yourself eventually and play single player. But this is the best freaking way to do local multiplayer online, we think. Yeah. So we think. <laughs> we so anyways, think. now now we're here. Uh, we're connect. I have to repair, I believe, because Oh, really? Okay, cuz we failed before. All right, pairing again. So so Rick is now going to enter the pin 1025. 1025. There it is. And I'm going to connect. And then we Paired successfully, we get here on Moonlight. All right. And then we go to show app list. And loading apps, you can see that you have uh, Enter the Gungeon, ETG, and Nuclear Throne here on this list. So now what happens is you, have to, you kind of have to coordinate with your friend because when I click one of these, it's going to launch, actually launch the game on Rick's computer. Do you want to show him any kind of uh, stuff about like the settings? Because you're going to have to futz with the settings to make it work for you. Yeah, that's actually true. So we had to go into settings, uh, preferences. Un usually, I mean, we, we were getting a black screen until we unchecked full screen. So I would recommend doing that. And um, and then also make sure you check play audio on host PCs. Otherwise, uh, Rico wouldn't get any audio. <laughs> You're going to rob me of all the game audio, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, like you have like your resolution here and stuff. A lot of that, I feel like it has to do with uh, your internet connection and speed and also your computer, uh, how good your computer is. Because if you have a really good computer and a really good internet connection and speed, you can probably stream these games at almost full resolution from the host computer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you have a little bit of latency, but that could be a number of things. Like I have a pretty fast internet connection, so it could be my upload speed, or it could be your download speed, or it could be your computer trying to process it or something. Yeah, you know? but, but for me, the latency is not necessarily a problem, but we'll get into that once we're actually in the game and showing yeah. how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, launch a game now, I guess. Sweet, yeah, go for it. Yeah, so here we go. I'm just again. I'm just going to um, show app list, selecting Enter the Gungeon, and then I'm going to hit launch here. <laughs> and you get the screen on on the Moonlight player, like Moonlight will launch, and you'll get this like like starting Enter the Gungeon, starting video stream, and then. And as you see on my screen, I'm getting a lot of flashing colors, and but Ooh. there's Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, man, Devolver Digital. So that's Nathan moving the cursor right now. I don't have control. I can, if I grab the, the mouse, I can control it too, but since he's going to be well, player one. We can do that or I'll, I no, know, I'll screw you up and you die. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. We're in the gungeon. I'm going to play as the, oh, he's cute. I'll play as the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Aww. Um and then, yeah, so uh, we had to mess with a little bit of the settings. Like, usually we have to go into controls and make sure it's going to be confused because, like, the <laughs> other controller is on the other end of the country. And then, yeah, and then you also have a controller plugged in. So we have to make sure it's controller yeah. number two, which is my controller number one. It's just, it's a lot of like trickery. And now yeah, here boom. I am. There we boom. go. I'm in the game too. And that's my little awesome. Uh, wizard man yeah <laughs> so it's actually it's pretty simple once you get it all set up i think the biggest hurdle we ran into was realizing that i had to forward those ports so uh if you could look up a tutorial on your router specifically on how to forward ports that's uh yeah that's, that's gonna be the, the biggest big hurdle. hurdle i i totally would have been like oh forwarding ports never gonna happen to me but then ricka <laughs> did it so i like yeah like, I know forwarding ports can be really intimidating, but um, if you can learn, you can literally play any co-op game with your friends. Yeah, usually you can, I mean, that's a pretty big uh, prize if you can figure out the whole port forwarding thing. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I know like the latency uh, is gonna really bother some people, but but again, for me, like I'm just so stoked to be playing with Rika and be able to record <laughs> and make videos. So yeah, it's really definitely. not an issue for me. It's kind of a trade-off and hopefully, I don't know, like, I mean, doing some more troubleshooting and stuff like that, you might be able to get it where the latency is even lower at the, you know, at the cost of maybe some, uh, 
some quality loss, you know, oh, no. and they <laughs> fell in the water. <laughs> so you lose a little quality, but change that for latency and speed, you know, maybe that's okay with you. So it's, it, I mean, you can kind of uh, work out at your own, at your own leisure yeah. and troubleshoot. Or like, I would really suggest, also, I mean, if you're playing out of the Gungeon, like, uh, and you're, and you're worried about the latency, uh, you can just use a controller and you can use the auto aim and then really like you just have latency on moving. I have not been using auto aim. I didn't know it existed. <laughs> yeah, it exists, man. That's crazy. So yeah, I mean like let us know if you have any other questions in the in the comments, but I mean like that's pretty much it. Once you sync up the uh, NVIDIA stream device thing and then get it rolling, you're in the game and you're ready to do some awesome gungeoning. Yeah, yeah, so really the biggest, I mean just if you figure out how to forward ports, it's really simple. Yeah. So. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, like literally, I was jumping for joy with with. Yeah, we were really <laughs> we figured out how to do this. <laughs> so it's it's gonna be pretty cool because then any game that's limited to co-op, we can definitely still play with each other. Yeah, uh, online. So I guess we should segue that into some some promotion here, like sick co-op videos coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> sick co-op videos already out. Uh, End of the Gungeon video, first one is already out. We're gonna put out some more of those. Uh, we're gonna do some Nuclear Throne co-op. I mean. The, the sky's the limit, man. Now. Yeah, sky's literally the limit. Sweet. So look forward to all that stuff. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, I hope you guys like the video. And yeah, I mean, we're just here to show you this awesome thing. We want to share this with the world. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And if you already knew about this and we're counting on some other form of uh, magic, well, sorry. We apologize. <laughs> yeah. I am Fizzle, the worst mage ever. So yeah. <laughs> So we apologize. This is the magic we know. This is the only book that. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. We can push these up. <laughs> I don't even distracted. think there's any enemies here, but. Oh dang it! Uh, I got so excited. I was like, dude, let's push them up. Um, but anyways, yeah. I guess thanks for watching. And yeah, we're gonna show you some cool. Now I guess uh, since you're still here, we're gonna show you some cool footage from Nuclear Throne too, doing co-op. So we, well, we're not full of shit. We, we it works for yeah. multiple games. Yeah. We'll just die against this boss right now, and then. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, oh, damn. there it is, the death. <laughs> yeah, so we're better than that if you want to watch our videos. But whatever. yeah, I, we promise. We do. We did that on purpose so we could get to the other. Footage. Yeah, we wanted to show you Nuclear Throne, <laughs> so we're just gonna close this. Oh yeah, let's here. show him how to. Let's show him how to shut it down. I guess it's on his end. So it's kind of limited on my end. Even if I alt tab to do something else on my computer, it kills the stream and like wipe, you know, just takes everything down. Yeah. Um, but then on his end, if he goes to quit the desktop like he does, it'll just uh, quit the game. And I think it, does it kill the link between us? I don't believe so. If I go to show app list, nuclear throne, launch. Yeah. Did it open another window? Uh, yeah, no, it actually just crashed the, the, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> so connection. You have, to, you have to disconnect before starting another game, correct? Yes. Yeah, or I think it would just explode. Uh, All right, I'm going to launch Nuclear the Throne. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. Oh, sweet. Let me just go co-op then. And can you move? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it works? Here we oh, go. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, so now I'm keyboard and mouse. Dude, you're steroid. Sorry, man. Yes. Okay. So now that that's what you have to do for Nuclear Throne is you have to have the host computer be on keyboard and mouse, and then the, the other computer has to be on controller. Which is goofy because um, it's reverse. Yeah, for it's Gungeon. reverse for Gungeon. So there's a classic example yeah. of how do I have like this up? Okay, there you go. So that's a classic <laughs> example of just how weird this whole process. Is. It's really just trial and error, troubleshooting, working with your buddy, having a ton of patience, and it eventually pays yeah, off. Yeah, look at us. Now we're, wait, whatever you just did there here, just created me... this giant black rectangle. <laughs> 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 I'm resizing, I'm resizing it. I shouldn't screw with stuff. But that was a, wait, wait, oh, there's a God. big rectangle on the screen now. Do you see that? <laughs> I know, I totally screwed oh, it up. No. I'm nuclear throne. Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nuclear throne. What if I pause? Uh, oh, whatever, God, the man. side it's, art. It's the, the side, side art. art. Oh. <laughs> no. Wait, what if I go? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Hold on, all right. No, it's Okay, back. you gotta make it. <laughs> Steroids chicken. We're back. All right, yeah, so it's a lot of, uh, so don't screw with stuff once you get stuff yeah, working, yeah. like me. There you go, though. Uh, <laughs> we've been doing this on off camera for like about an hour now. So like, this is not like your world is not going to be smooth sailing. This takes, like other things in life, this will... Uh, it takes take work, some man, work. but the like stuff in life, if you can make the work work and you do it right and you get stuff done, man, yeah. things work out and you're happy. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for lots of cool co-op stuff. Subscribe yeah. to our channel, like, and stuff like we're that. We're basically going to be a co-op channel now for the rest of our lives. So <laughs> out the we kind of already were, but this is going to open up so many possibilities. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Lots of Enter the Gungeon coming. Lots of Enter the Gungeon, lots of more co op Yeah, Nuclear Throne. This this adds, like, all right, you've seen our Nuclear Throne Wars series? Like, yeah, yeah dude, Nuclear Four Way Nuclear Throne Wars. Sweet. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you next yeah, time. Yeah, see you around. Bye. Bye.